Hi guys, it's Ross here from Tillotson and today we'll be running through some of the maintenance checks on our Tillotson T4 engine that we carry out between race events. The first check we're going to do is check the valve clearance because after events the clearance can move. First step is to remove the plug cap and remove the plug. Using an 8mm socket and do the holes on the rocker cover. We've removed the rocker cover and the gasket. We're going to find top dead center so we can check the valves clearance. So we want to bring the engine around until you see the intake valve is open. And when you see the intake valve start to close, the piston will be coming up to the top on the compression stroke. And we use an Allen key and put it in on the piston so we can find top dead center. And I like to use a 13 spanner on the sprocket side just to find the top and use the spanner to rock the crankshaft so we can find the top. When you find the top, both of the rockers will be loose. And you can go ahead and check our valve clearance. To check the valve clearance, we use a feeler gauge. Um, the, the correct valve clearance is 0 0.15 millimeters or six thousandths of an inch. So to do this, we insert the feeler gauge in between the top of the valve and the rocker arm. So this engine at the moment is at 0.2 and we, we need to adjust it to 0 0.15 of a mil. To adjust the valve clearance, and do the lock nut using a 10 mil spanner. So then the, the nut behind it for the rocker is loose. Put in our feeler gauge. Tighten up the 14 mil nut until it's tight. Tighten up the lock nut. Then check it again. So it's gone a bit too tight there. Put on your 14 mil, loosen your lock nut again. And the easiest way is just to move the 14 mil spanner in a small increment and tighten back up the lock nut and put back in the feeler gauge and check so it's set now perfectly at 0 0.15 millimeters or six thousandths of an inch we now go ahead and check our exhaust valve repeat the same process as we've used on the intake side um, we recommend that this process is done after every three hours of running time. We recommend to check the torque values on the crankcase cover bolts and on the head bolts after every event. We recommend to torque the crankcase bolt at 30 newton meters. We recommend to torque the head bolts at 37 newton meters.
The next check that we do is to check the carburetor pop off to make sure that it's sealing. It's best to check this in between events also. It's also recommended to change the diaphragm and gasket kit after every 10 hours. So I'm just going to check the pressure here now. And it's sealing, as we can see, perfectly at 0 0.55. So to clean out the air filter using some soapy water. And uh, you can blow out the soapy water afterwards to dry it off. Um, <clears throat> especially after a wet race, it's important to do this. The most important maintenance procedures on our Tillotson engine is to change the oil after every three hours of use. To drain the oil, undo this plug using a 10 mil spanner and let the oil drain out. It's best to drain the oil when the engine has been ran and the engine is warm. Um, to fill the oil, undo this plug here and fill 500 mil of our Tillotson T4 oil.